420, today's date, or something more special to you. Perhaps it's a banner day for people who like to consume cannabis and think it should be legal. Yeah, here tonight to talk about that and a few other things, 96.9 Boston Talks, Michelle McPhee. Good to see you, Michelle. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Ock. How are you guys? Doing great. Right. Good. Hey, let's talk about 420. A big rally in New Hampshire today to make a small amount of pot just a civil penalty, and they've already got that here in Massachusetts. What are your thoughts? Well, I'm wondering if there's Dorito de, uh, dust all over your desk. <laughs> from the, the, a little too much partaking, perhaps, you two, <laughs> and celebrating today's uh, significant day for potheads. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, here in Massachusetts, the potheads get to get to uh, actually celebrate every single day because of the moon bats who passed question number two that made pot legal. Uh, the gangbangers are psyched, the potheads are psyched, and now they're trying to take this movement nationwide. It's ridiculous. So we're talking about small amounts here. I mean, has it made that big an impact here in Massachusetts? Well, I think it's made it a lot easier for the Lucerne Street Dogs, which is a street gang based out of Mattapan, and one of its members is accused of shooting a Framingham cop in the head. It's made it easier for those guys to raise some revenue by selling pot because it's not illegal for them to smell, to actually sell small amounts. So, sure, it's had an impact. And, and besides, do you really want people, you know, walking down the street smoking a joint? Do you want people on the Boston Common? I mean, the, you remember the Boston Herald took that picture of a heroin addict shooting up and dying on the Boston mm. Common. Should we be smoking pot on the Common? I mean, it's ridiculous. It's like these hemp fests. It's always a, an excuse for weirdos that have horse dung in their hair to <laughs> prance around in hippie skirts. Hey, though, I asked a bunch of my Twitter followers, should pot be legal? And an overwhelming amount of those who responded say yes, as long as it's taxed and regulated like alcohol. What are your thoughts about that? You know, Sarah, that's a good point. If, if, if we are going to legalize it, we might as well tax it. We're getting taxed for everything else, including they tried to give us a tax for FaceTime at the registry, if you remember correctly. I, so to me, it seems like a fair tax. I mean, think about what's going on. And you guys interviewed last week uh, Bristol County Sheriff Tom Hodgson, and he came up with a great idea. Let's charge inmates five bucks a day for the cost of their incarceration. If the indigent, okay, we'll send them a bill, but if they stay out of trouble, we'll wipe their bill clean. That's an unfair tax. That's an unfair tax on the inmate. But what about the taxes we pay on those inmates every day? We gave one of the inmates, and it was a Fox 25 story by Bob Ward, we gave one of them a mammogram, mammogram last sure. week. So it, it's, to me, sure, if we're going to legalize it in Massachusetts, we might as well tax it. Okay, speaking of drugs, let's talk about Cameron Douglas, Michael Douglas's son, supposed to get a minimum 10-year sentence for drug dealing, gets five years after his father, his father's father, everyone got involved in this, sending notes and making pleas before the judge. Uh, what do you think of that? Was there preferential treatment here? Because he only got half the sentence most people get. I mean, Ock, when a lot of famous people stand up and say, oh, the poor, poor drug addict, you have to show leniency. Now, look, from a Massachusetts person's perspective, at least the guy is going to jail. I mean, look what happened in South Hadley. Here, we have an accused uh, statutory rapist who was involved in, allegedly, in the uh, brutal bullying of Phoebe Prince, gets locked up over the weekend for drunk driving, and the judge releases him mm. again on personal recognizances. So I was buoyed by the idea that Cameron Douglas was at least going to go to jail. But it is funny. Do you think if Michelle McPhee got locked up so many times like Cameron Douglas and I didn't have any famous friends attesting on my behalf, that I would have gotten a half of the sentence that the prosecutors recommended? You have a good point right there, Michelle. Always so good to talk to you, Michelle. We wish we had a lot more time with you. Thanks, as always. Great to see you, Sarah. Ock, always a pleasure.